News shooter coverage of IBC 2025 is sponsored by B&H. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at IBC 2025. I'm at the Blackmagic Design booth. Now, Blackmagic RAW is coming to some of the Sony cameras. Uh, tell me about it. Yeah, so around this time last year, we showed a technical statement with the Sony FX9 using our video assist off-board recorders to put Blackmagic RAW out as an option for the owners of that. Um, we went back to the drawing board with Sony, had a revision and a rethink about it. And what we've committed to now, we're showing at the show, is we have the FX3 supported with video assist for Blackmagic RAW for Sony owners. Um, Sony have done an announcement of their own, I believe, a short while ago. We're just finalizing off that build. And this will give owner and operators of FX3, FX3A, and FX30 an update before the end of the month or into October, where they could use video assist for Blackmagic RAW. And then we're gonna follow that up as well then with FX6 and FX9 before the end of the year. This has been a much requested feature from Sony users for a long time, so it's good to see it coming to market. Yeah, absolutely. We've already supported Blackmagic RAW on other camera systems from Nikon and Panasonic and Sigma. So it's really good for us to then move that across to Sony. And it gives all those operators the opportunity to get the benefits and the, the workflow performance of Blackmagic yeah. RAW into some really, really great systems that Sony sell to their customers as well. And when do you expect the video assist uh, monitors to get the firmware upgrade? So in October for FX3 and, and the small camera range, and then by the end of the year for FX6 and for the FX9 camera as well.